A very good morning. Uh, you're watching Proactive London. Uh, Chris Gillespie from h and is joining me uh, on a very special jubilee uh, with very special encouraging interim results out today. Chris, great to see you. Uh, morning. Ha morning. Happy, nice happy to see jubilee. You. <laughs> and, Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, 125 years since um, since h and was first founded. So, yes, yeah, an important year in our in our history this year. An important year and uh, important and encouraging results. Uh, so your interim results out today. Um, tell us more. Really pleased with the progress we're making, actually. And, and that progress is right across the business. So uh, demand for our core pawnbroking product is is not recovered to pre-COVID levels and, and has built to about 40% above pre-COVID levels. So, you know, the pledge book closed the period at about 85 million, which is the highest it's ever been, actually, in our in our history. Um, but also alongside that, the, the performance of the retail sales have been very strong um, and actually uh, particularly pre-owned items, which I think are more popular um, generally in society now. That's been really strong. And our foreign exchange um, business providing people with holiday money is also pretty much back to pre-pandemic levels now. So I think we're seeing strong performance right across the business and it's, um, it's great to see. Absolutely. And uh, I suppose in, in some people's minds that pawnbroking is an old fashioned way of raising capital. Uh, but with um, the uh, the longevity of the business, certainly you say you're celebrating 125th anniversary this year and results like this. Do you think there's any kind of uh, drivers in the way that um, prices are rising, the cost of living that are turning people to approach people like A&T to in order to um, to keep going? I think, uh, I think there's a number of factors driving the, the demand. I mean, we're working quite hard uh, to raise the profile of what we do. Um, the, the image of, of, of our industry, actually, is much more modern than the image that some people may have of it. Um, there's no doubt, though, that the, the, the impact of inflation on people's disposable incomes means that the need to borrow, you know, in most cases, a small sum over a short term has returned. And I think that's that's certainly a factor. But I think the bigger factor is that those people that do need to borrow a small sum now are finding that uh, the number of options open to them are a lot a lot less than they have been in recent years um, with the exit from from the lending uh, industry of a number of players. So I think there's a combination of factors that, that's driving it. Um, but we're working quite hard to raise the profile of what we do as well. So um, I was pleased to see, I mean, about one one pawnbroking loan in 12, um, sorry, in eight, about 12% currently is to somebody to whom we've never previously lent. And, and that's great to see more people coming into our stores. No, absolutely. I say it's it's not just a building on the, the current pledge book and also on current customers, but with new uh, customers coming in, uh, that can only uh, be good news for H&T. Uh, you mm -hmm. mentioned the foreign exchange as well. Um, has always has that always been such a, a great part of the business or as you've found that um, increasing incrementally over the past few years coming out of the pandemic? It's something that grew pre-pandemic. Um, the, the group acquired about 70 stores um, in 2019 and those stores were more active with um, holiday money uh, than our existing stores were so it's something I think that we see as a as, as a growth opportunity for the group as we leverage the skills that we brought into the group with those 70 stores uh, in 2019 so we've always done it but I think we, it, it's something that gets more focused now than than it did in the past and it's something I think we see as a as a growth area going forward I mean the, the, the volumes are now pretty much back to pre-pandemic levels um, and it's great to see, but we think we can probably do more in that space. So it, it, it gets more focused than it used to. And it sounds like it's one of those industries connected with tourism that's actually uh, thriving when you think about all the other aspects of the market with um, airlines and that kind and that kind of thing to do with the air travel. But foreign exchanges on the increase. And that's that's yeah. very encouraging. Uh, yeah. Also, an increase in dividends uh, for your yes. shareholders. Yeah. So we have a, a stated progressive dividend policy um, with a two times coverage ratio and the board are confident in the trajectory of the business and the momentum it has. And yeah, happy to increase the dividend uh, from 4p at the interim stage last year to 5p this year. Um, well, it all sounds like it's going great guns there. And I say, what a what good news for your 125th anniversary, a huge landmark in h and history. You must be very proud of everything you've achieved. And as you say, particularly coming off the back of the pandemic, it seems that uh, your industry is uh, one that's continuing to grow. 
Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a proud year in our history. Um, it's a lot of people here who've worked here a very long time. Um, couldn't do it without them. And yeah, I think we've got really strong momentum and look forward to the second half um, with growing excitement, actually. So there you go. Growing excitement, a growing pledge book and everything on the rise for 125th anniversary. Chris Gillespie from H&T. Thanks for joining us this morning on Proactive London. You're very welcome. Nice to see you. 